Hi, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and I wanted to walk through this document. Um, you're going to laugh. I actually created this document, at least the vast majority of it, over 20 years ago. Um, I'd say it was around 98 is when I, I was in my undergrad, and I was watching my my uh, fellow colleagues, uh, uh, classmates, um, do some really ridiculous stuff on a computer. And so I put this together to hand out and to give to people to help them to say, hey, print this out and memorize these hotkeys, right? And what's crazy is I think... Um, this Windows period, this is the only one I really added recently. Everything else, it's the same. And that, it's not that I'm saying, hey, this is old, don't look at it. It's 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 stood the test of time, right? So there's some great, uh, great hotkeys here that if you don't know them, you should, right? So the first one, the Windows key, right? Hit the Windows key. Obviously, it brings the startup menu. Mine's on the other page, but you probably know that one. Windows R will bring up the Run menu. Um, and that one, so that this will bring that up automatically. Windows E will launch Explorer. And so that can just pull up Explorer for you. That one, I, I don't can't tell you how many times per day I use that. Windows F. Now, Windows F is going to find files in your computers. I actually have mine running something else. It runs this file search X program, which uh, unfortunately it's a paid program, but it, it the search is like a, the old Windows XP search, which is just much more friendly than the, the current search terms, uh, search tool inside Windows. Uh, so this Windows P, if any tool you're in, I can hit Windows period. And it brings up the uh, emojis that then you can insert. And I'm like, hey, you know what? That's worth adding because uh, it's just handy, right? Very handy to have. Uh, Shift F10, if you don't know it. So if you're in any program, Shift F10 will bring up the context, context menu. And so not that I would recommend hitting Shift F10, but hey, if your mouse isn't working, you can do that. The other one is if you're trying to trigger the context menu in a program, you know, we're not a hotkey, you might decide to send Shift F10. Uh, and see if you can get that context menu to pop up if you can't find a better way to do it. Uh, Windows M, this is a great one, right? Windows M will minimize everything. And when you're done, Windows Shift M, oops, Windows Shift M brings everything back. And so if you're trying to look for something, you can hit Windows M and it'll minimize everything so you can see your desktop. And then Windows Shift M reverts everything back. And these are great power ones. Um, like I said, I use Alt-Tab. I you're probably gonna laugh, right? But um, I, I'll, I'll still suspect some percent of you guys don't know what Alt-Tab is for switching between programs, right? And there's another new one, but um, I prefer just the Alt-Tab. In um, Alt-Shift-Tab, I should have maybe colored these in blue too. So if you want, so I'm going Alt-Tab, Tab, and then Alt-Shift-Tab, it's a little hard to hit, but that reverses the direction of where you're going, right? Um, Control-A, hey, select all. Control X, obviously is cut. Control C, copy. Control V, paste. Control Z, undo. Now, this is one of my favorite hotkeys that works in almost almost any Windows tool. A lot of people don't use it, but it's it's a great one because if you're doing any sort of like formatting or any, any adjustments, um, do your formatting once and then highlight the next thing and hit redo. Like if I wanted to make this bold, uh, and let's say, you know what, let's, let me undo that. I'm going to, I'm going to hit now let's see, they were in Word, so Control D will bring up this menu. I, that's not on this thing because it's a, a separate one. Uh, but um, let's say we wanted to make it size 12 with uh, a red font and bold. Now I can hit here and hit Control Z, I'm sorry, Control Y and redo, right? And Control Y and redo. So it's a great thing to repeat what you just did, right? I use this so much to save time, it's, it's crazy. So. Undo, 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 which is the next one. Control Z, right? I think it's the next one. I'm going from memory. Uh, it was the one before it. Uh, undo, 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 undo. Now, most of you guys know the buttons, right? Which are fine, but knowing these hotkeys, it's much faster. Um, so, Control F, I did the, the, that one will search. Control H for search and replace things. Uh, these are big ones, too, this navigating around. So, if, like, I'm here and I hit Control Left Arrow, it's going to jump across a word and control right arrow moves me back that way, right? If I hit control delete, it will delete that word, the things to the left. And um, I think the control uh, delete uh, shift end. Oh, shift end. So there I can highlight everything um, and I can be at the end and hit hold down shift and hit home. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I have that in here. Um, that's a good one. I'll need to add that. So shift shift home. Shift plus home, um, let's left, there we go, nice, um, and let me go ahead and bold and blue, make this consistent, and of course there's a lot of, oops, not that blue, uh, I'll fix it here in a bit, um, 
But uh, let's see, double. So when you're in any program, double clicking will select the word. Oh, by the way, where's my little cheat? Oh, these. Uh, these, uh, the control I, B, U, um, those, you don't actually have to highlight the whole word. So if I'm in here, I can hit control B, right? I don't have to select the word. So sorry for jumping around here. Double click with the mouse, that'll select the entire word. Triple click will select the entire row often. Um, control page up and down, right? These are great. So control page up gets you up there. Con control page down or control N will get you to the end. Um, so, so that's the control home and control end. Uh, but these two, two will move up one down a page. And home and end brings you to the... Um, oh, I do have home, but I didn't have the... Shift, shift home will select the line. Home will just get you to the front of the line. So maybe that's why I thought I had it in here, but I didn't. Uh, end, control home, control end, brings to the beginning of the document, great. Control, obviously these you probably know. I mean, not many people underline anything more because of hyperlinks. Uh, uh, but another of these are, you know, control O for opening a file in almost any program, right? That'll work. Control N for a new file of whatever you're in. And control S will save. Um, and control P, not that many people print. That's why everything in blue are the ones you just got to know, right? The ones that aren't in blue, they're still, I highly recommend them. You should know them. But um, they're not quite as uh, important and useful as the other ones. So um, I hope you found this helpful. Um, I'll put the link here where you can download it. Uh, if it's going to be behind a, a sign in, just so I get your email address and I can add you to the newsletter uh, to let you know when there's more of these things, right? To find ways to save time. So uh, this, it's kind of funny. I'm surprised I had, hadn't really thought to ever share this because it's not quote unquote auto hotkey, but it's ways to save time, right? And that's all what, what we're hearing about at the automator. So hope you guys are doing great and uh, take care. Cheers.